today I would like to talk about geometry distance regular graph. A distance regular graph is called geometric if it is the point graph of a partial linear space. And the main theorem of this talk is classification of geometric distance regular graphs with smallest eigenvalue at minus 3 and inversion number C2 at least 2. And the main theorem is the following. The gamma is the geometric DRG with smallest eigenvalue at least minus 3 and some parameter at least 2, then gamma must be one of the following graph. And I divided this talk into four parts. First, let me introduce the concept of distance regular graph briefly, and then we will introduce the notion of geometric distance regular graph. Actually, one of the basic questions in this research is, for given smallest eigenvalue, can we classify all of such PIG with given smallest eigenvalue? So in that sense, if there is some time, and then I'd like to show some long research on it, and then in the last part, let me give some brief proof for our main result. Then to, be, to begin with, let me introduce some concepts. In this talk, we will consider only finite, undirected, simple, connected regular graph. And for each integer i, the i distance, a distance matrix a sub i is g1 matrix whose rows and columns are indexed by the vertex set and its xy entry is 1 if the corresponding distance is i and 0 otherwise. And as you know well, the eigenvalues of graphs are the eigenvalues of the corresponding axis in C matrix. And now let me review the definition of distance regular graphs briefly because yesterday already Mr. Park Jun-yu already did explain this well. A given connected graph gamma is called distance regular, simply DRG. This is not nice rolling game. This is distance regular graph <laughs> in this talk. If the following holds. And then here, S of I is the I distance matrix. And then let me consider this definition again from the view of graphs. First, let me fix A vertex X and consider its distance partition with respect to the base vertex X. And then, given connected graph is called DIG if for each i column there are exactly three constants such that for any vertex Y in the i column, there are exist exactly CI neighbors in the previous column and AI neighbors in itself and BI neighbors in the next column. Actually, the most, of, uh, most trivial example for DIG is, as you know, the five platonic solids, the Hamming graphs, and so on. And these parameters is called the intersection numbers. Actually, in this talk, we are focused on the uh, parameter C sub 2. And here, let me note that these parameters does depend on the distance from the base vertex uh, X. I mean I, not on the choice of vertices, whether Y or Z, we don't care. And then to define geometric distance regular graphs, let me review some definition of clicks. Click in a graph, click means a set of pairwise adjacent vertices, as you know well, and in in distance regular graph. The size of click is n most this number, say 1 plus balance k over minus the smallest eigenvalue. Actually, this uh, inequality was shown by the result for strong regular graph. Here, strong regular graph means distance regular graphs with diameter 2 and connected. And then later, Chris Garcia generalized this inequality to distance regular graphs. In particular, given clicks is called the result click if its cardinality is exactly this number. And actually, uh, the given click is desert click if and only if given click is complete regular code with covering radius diameter d minus 1. And then let me introduce the geometry. In 1993, Chris Garcia introduced the notion of geometric DRG. Given distance regular and incomplete, distance regular graph is called geometric with respect to some sets script C if there exists a set of desert click script C such that each edge lies in unique elements in given group, uh, set script C. 
And examples of giant Turkistas regular graphs include many well-known classical family of Turkistas regular graphs, such as Bipak, uh, Johnson graphs, Grassmann graphs, Hemming graphs, and so on. Then, for example, let me, uh, here I, I did some mistake. Any bipartite graph is not distant, a geometric distance <laughs> regular graph, of course. So, for example, let me explain Hemming graph, HDQ. In Hemming graph, this valency is diameter times Q minus 1. And the smallest eigenvalue of Hemming graph is minus D. And fortunately, the local structure of Hemming graph is exactly D disjoint union of clicks of size Q minus 1. Hence, any maximum click in Hemming graph is desired click, and any Hemming graph is geometric distance regular graph. But here, let me note here that for any geometric distance regular graphs, this script C does not have to be unique. For example, Johnson graph. The vertex set of Johnson graph is the collection of S subsets of given two S set capital X and two vertices alpha and beta are adjacent if their cardinality has exactly S minus one. Ah, their intersection cardinality is S minus one. And then uh, let me take any two vertices gamma and delta in such collections. And then we may define gamma plus delta minus set, two sets. And then we can show that these two sets induce clicks of size exactly 1 plus s. And these are, there's a clicks in the given adjacent graph. Hence, if we construct these two subsets, uh, two sets, script C plus and C minus, and then given Johnson graph J2SS become a geometric distance regular graphs with respect to one of these two sets. So this set cannot, uh, does not have to be unique. And then here, let me introduce two basic parameters, Psi i and Tau i. Let me fix one desert click at capital C, and then we can consider distance partition with respect to a given click C. And then Psi i means the number of vertices in the original click which are at distance i from the vertex Z. And tau i means for two vertices x and y at distance i, the number of clicks that's a click in script C satisfy these conditions. And then it is well known that for geometric DRG, these two parameters does not depend on the choice of vertices, just depend on i and in this case i and script C. And actually i and some parameter and sub C. So, fortunately, for any geometric distance regular graphs, any intersection numbers, bi and ci, can be expressed in terms of these two parameters, like this way. Psi i and tau i, smallest eigenvalue and balance. And now, let me uh, introduce some relationship between, uh, with other concepts. That cannot be a given geometric DLG. And then we can construct a partial linear space as follows. The point set is the vertex set, and the, the set of lines are given uh, a set of there's a click script C. And then this pair becomes a partial linear space with of order ST as follows. Moreover, this partial linear space is an example of a uh, known distance regular geometry, which is defined by them in 2006. And also, if uh, for given this kind of partial space, we can consider some uh, related uh, graph, instance graph or point graph or line graph, and, and so on. And if we consider instance graph of this, and then this become a distance semi-regular graph, which is introduced by, by Hiroshi Suzuki in 1995. And let me introduce one more geometric concept related to this, con this uh, geometry DLG. Partial geometry of order ST alpha means a partial linear space of order ST says uh, such that for any non or incident pair, P and L, there are exactly alpha lines M through P which intersect given line M. And I, I forgot to mention here one more 
thing. One more thing is here, the just the partial linear space means to any distinct points arising in most one line, and dually any two distinct lines intersect in at most one point. I, mean, I just uh, forgot to mention here. And uh, under this definition, partial geometry, we have some interesting property as follows. The point graph of any partial geometry becomes the geometric distance regular graphs of diameter 2. On the other hand, any geometric distance regular graph of diameter 2 is the point graph of some partial geometry. Hence, we may, uh, we may say that here, for geometric distance regular, uh, ge uh, distance regular graphs of diameter 2, these two concepts, the point graph or partial geometry and the geometric property is equivalent. And then in this page, let me consider finiteness of non-geometric distance regular graphs. In 1979, Neumann has showed the following. Fix some uh, fix an integer m, and then there are finite many non-geometric distance regular graphs with the smallest eigenvalues minus m and given the uh, diameter two. And with the joint work with Professor Kuhler, we show we generalize this Neumann's theorem to any diameter. Let me fix two integers m and d, and then. There are still five and many non-geometric distance regular graphs with smallest eigenvalues minus m, m is given, and given diameter capital D. And in the last theorem, we also uh, show that the condition on the fixed diameter in the second theorem can be replaced by the condition on the uh, Intersection number C2 as follows. So, so in the last theorem, we didn't fix any diameter. We just fixed the integer m. Hence, and uh, as I gave talks before, uh, we uh, we proved the Vanito conjecture. Say there are finite many distinct <coughs> graphs with given balance C at least three. So in this sense, in this. Uh, last theorem, we can replace the condition C to by balance C also. And uh, let me look at the third theorem again. And then in view of this theorem, we already know the finiteness of non-geometry DRG. So from now on, we are interested to characterize geometric distance regular graphs with smallest eigenvalues minus m and in a certain number C to at least 2. And the main theorem is concerned about this classification for integer m equals 3. And this is known result for m is minus two, uh, m is 2 and our main theorem. And in the proof, let me divide it into three cases. First case is triangle free case. And the second one is a1 is non-zero and psi1 is 1. And the third case is a1 is non-zero and psi1 is at least 2. And first, let me explain the first case. That is a very easy case. The first case is a1 is 0 means triangle free. There is no triangle in given graph. And then the maximal click must be edge. So there is trivially 2 and uh, the equation of this click, we have 2 equals 1 plus this number. And then we have that k must be minus smallest eigenvalue, and then there must be 2 or 3 because of our condition. Hence, if k is 2, then trivial, as you know, we cycle. That's done. But if k is 3, then there is some classification of uh, cubic distance regular graphs that is given by Bix et al. in 1986. So by using the classification, we have this simple result. And then the next case is triangle. There is triangle, and the parameter psi1 is 1. And then the condition psi1 is 1 means the local structure is this nice way. That means locally this joint union of two clicks, or locally this joint union of three clicks here. And we have two parameters as follows. If C2 is 2 here and C2 is 3 here, and then we can show easily that the diameter of given graph must be 2, that means strong regular graph, and that we have these two feasible, feasible arrays, 
and the re remaining is if C2 is 2 and theta min is minus 3. Then in the case, I was able to show that there exists a unique physical array as follows, the third item. But actually, let me note here that even though we have one physical array, but we don't know how many non-isomorphic graphs does exist with given array. But for his strong regular graph, for the first one, uh, people show that there are unique strong regular graphs with this parameter, and there are exactly 78 strong non-isomorphic strong regular graphs with this parameter. But people know that the existence of strong regular graph with this parameter, but we don't know how many exactly for this parameter. And unfortunately, even though uh, we have this unique parameter array in the third item, but uh, still for me, I don't know the existence of distance regular graph with this parameter. But uh, uh, I also asked some computation by using computer <coughs> program to Mr. Park Jong-yuk and he also, he calculated that. But if we uh, restrict A1 is less than or equal to 300, and then there are just unique physical array. A1 is 45 and Kusai 2 is 9. But still, I don't know whether those, uh, such DRG does exist or not. And the third case, we just use some conditions and then we can get this result. Hence, by combining these, these three parts and then we can show this main theorem. So in this main theorem, we showed classified the geometric DRG with these two assumptions, conditions. Then why did we use C2 is at least two? Actually, if C2 is one, and then we have locally this joint union of clips. That is very nice local structure, but that is already studied in the paper by Norio Yamazaki in 1995. Uh, uh, still, there, he did not class, uh, characterize, uh, uh, classify, just he characterized into uh, some families. So I just, I, and also I used some other existence of quadrangle from this condition. But anyway, I just classify this geometry TRG with this one. So before uh, finishing this talk, uh, let me comment on my re recent research. So actually, I'd like to classify all DRG with set time is at least minus 3 and C2 is at least 2. So now I'm doing that work, so it seems doable. So in near future, I'd like to give a talk on my recent research. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>